battle coming up next. And I've never thought I would introduce a battle quite like this. The current WRC Rally points leader winning the first two races, Calais Rovempera. First competitive drift event on a European stage in his Toyota Supra. Goes up against a man in one of the oldest Toyotas on the grid. It is a Toyota A86, but he has 850 horsepower in this A86 against a brand new Supra with 850 horsepower. Two very different backgrounds. It will be Finland versus Greece. Everybody wants to see what happens next. It will be Rovan Pera to lead out Grillis into that first corner. Yes, Stavros Grillis looks for the back end lane on Super and Rovan Pera fires in. Big separation right now, but don't underestimate the Greek Stavros Grillis because that car is incredibly gripped up. Look at this. Struggles to slow the car down as he gets into the outside zone. Now Grillis has found the back bumper of the Supra. Goes for the wall with his Rovan Pera. Look at Grillis. Gets himself back into the moment, back in the zone, flicks the car on angle. Wow. You know what? I have a feeling somewhere in a marketing department in Toyota, they're going, we did never intended for this to be, <laughs> to be the case. Old school versus new school, rally versus drift, and it's happening right here in front of a record attendance in Mondello Park, Rovan Pera on rails. Looks like he's been drifting for years. He's one thing we looked at in all of his practice, his driving ability, unquestionable. Has so much talent, so much skill. Still learning the experience of twin battling, and that's going to be the story of today. But right now in those lead positions, he looks so comfortable. But look at Grillis. He knows he's lost a little bit of ground on the first corner, decides to make it up through the course, and right throughout, he is right up close and personal with Rovan Pera all the way to the end. How cool is it to see this machinery on track? Just the, the, the two Toyotas together, Dave. It's like new school, old school. And some people would have counted the old school out of the fight, but there is no way you could count that little Toyota Corolla out of it this weekend. Well, I was, I was even mentioning yesterday, I mean, that Corolla came out of the factory line with 120 horsepower, and then you put 850 horsepower in it, and wheels that are, you know, huge, and tires that are 285 tires on the back, and he's still able to pedal it. And a lot of people say that chassis is done and dusted in drifting. Well, Stavros Grilla is showing that it's still very competitive. Now we get to see Cali Rovapera in the chase position. This is the part that he said he's, he's learning as he goes. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, Dave, because I feel like Stavros Grillis' car is very, very quick when he's given the free rein and the run down into that first initiation. That car is super gripped up, as you said, the big 285 times on the back. Rovan Perino, not scared, wants to get up close to first and find out if he can make it through. But the initiation from Stavros Grillis, he puts that car on angle, hammers on the front of Rovan Perino. Way into the groove, up into outside zone four. Roman Perrin, that's super, not scared. Oh, almost takes the back end off of the Corolla, goes for it again. And Stavros Grill is over rotates. Woo! Everybody's okay. That was a moment. That was a moment. Grillis threw it in on almost the lock stops into that last corner. Just couldn't hold it. Rovan Pera making evasive action. And if there's one man that can make evasive action better than anyone, it's a rally driver. And he looks to me like he's going to the top 16 right now. And Stavros Grillis, though, threw 150% at that run. Knew he had to do it. And that little Corolla, he, he gave it everything. He gave it more than everything, Dave. Look at this, though. Stavros Grillis was 90 degrees to the circuit at some points, just wanted to try and put on a show and bring everything he could in that Corolla, dials it in, and look at that. He went wheels over the edge of the circuit, got onto the marbles, it loosened the back end of the car up, over-rotated. Yeah, I mean, he had to do it, he had to go for it, but he just went crazy onto the wall, onto 90 degrees, and just here you knew there was no holding that yeah. car at that point. You can see Rovan Pera on the front brakes knowing this is going to happen. Look at this. He's already slowing down and going, this car is not going to make it. Evasive action. Both cars OK. But I think the result is probably going to swing towards the current WRC points leader. I can't believe I'm even saying that in a drift <laughs> event. And the results will come in of who's going to the top 16. Will it be Calais Rovan Perry? It will indeed. The finish driver going to the top 16. And rally versus drift.